next on HBO. We couldn't make this one up. Holly Hunter stars in the HBO original movie, The Positively True Adventures of the Alleged Texas Cheerleader Murdering Mom. Next on HBO. Hey, in case you haven't heard, there's a new movie and a lot more every Saturday night in May on HBO. Like what? Like the HBO original movie, Daybreak. Cuba Gooding Jr. and Moira Kelly star. Guess you'd rather stick around and wait for the bomb to go off. Who else? How about Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, and Joe Pesci in Lethal Weapon 3? Now, there's no bomb in there. How, how can you be sure of that? Harrison Ford, Ann Archer, James Earl Jones, and Richard Harris in Patriot Games. We got three IRA hidden at a farmhouse. Patrick Swayze in City of Joy. She's going to give somebody a lot of joy. Don't touch her. And the ultimate in high-altitude adventure, K2. Anything can happen up here. That's not all. World Championship Boxing doubleheader. Riddick Bo takes on Jesse Ferguson, and Roy Jones clashes with Bernard Hopkins. There's more. The HBO Comedy Hour. John Leguizamo's Spicarama. Still look okay? Why did you say? Remember, there's a new movie and lots more every Saturday night. I got it. All premiering in May on HBO. Here we go. When you're carrying a weapon on the street, you know what I'm saying? Watch your back. The man behind you may be strapped too. I've got the power! It's about taking care of your own. Strap premieres Saturday, June 26th on HBO. In June, HBO asks you to please be kind to animals. Or else. <laughs> Batman Returns, just in time. It premieres Saturday, June 5th, only on HBO. <laughs> nice kitty. Meow. Come closer. HBO has a secret. Alien 3, premieres Saturday, June 12th, only on HBO. The streets and buildings of New York City provide the backdrop for the HBO original movie, Daybreak, an action thriller set in a dangerous future world. Here, victims of a terrifying epidemic are branded with a P for positive, and sent away to prison-like quarantine centers. Daybreak tells the story of two young rebels who risk it all to learn that love, like freedom, is a cause worth fighting for. Cuba Gooding Jr., last seen in Boys in the Hood and A Few Good Men, stars as Torch, the resistance leader who rescues positives from a one-way trip to quarantine. It interests me uh, to have a love story in such a bleak surrounding in a time when things are so in, in such chaos, state of fascism. So. What's your name? What? I asked you what your name was. Trust me, or you can die. Moira Kelly co-stars as Blue, a courageous young woman who accidentally becomes involved in the underground crusade and in the process finds love in a world gone mad. She's a street person, but I didn't, I didn't want to play her like this tough street girl. She's still a girl who has a lot of fears and is scared of a lot of things. And so there's a lot of uh, uh, sort of gentle qualities about her that I, I, I tried to bring out. And action. Stephen Tolkien, who wrote and directed Daybreak, says he cast Kelly and Gooding because of the tremendous chemistry he saw when they read together during auditions. The most difficult thing ended up not being difficult, which was getting the actors to the emotional intensity that they had to be for what's at stake. And Cuba and Moira just got there. So that, I thought, was going to be the hardest. And I never had to worry about that at all. What Tolkien did have to worry about were the intricacies of filming an action-packed script that called for more than a few stunts and special effects, including one very explosive scene. And co-star Omar Epps, who plays the leader of a vigilante youth gang, says that one torture scene almost looks a little too real. We had to be there to see it really look like we were torturing him. He was handcuffed, you know, and I, I know they were hurting. It just hitting them, you know, it was intense. And I liked it. I liked that. I enjoyed it. You know, so did my character. For Moira Kelly, it wasn't the action or the violence in Daybreak that posed a problem for her. The nudity. It's just not an easy thing to do, ever. Um, 
I sometimes don't, I, I should say actually a lot of the times I don't think it's necessary. I thought that uh, in this case, it added, it added to the characters being sort of helpless and raw down to absolutely nothing, you know, nothing between them but what they had with each other. Do you feel anything with that, Al? No. I've learned so much and I've grown so much professionally and through my work. I feel that this is probably the most intense thing I've been asked to do in some of the things that I've done in this film. So, um, you know, you can only wait to see how it comes out. But if it comes out any way it felt to do it, then I'll be very pleased with it. Don't miss the HBO original movie, Daybreak, coming in May on HBO. HBO is going to hand you the ultimate weapon. Be careful how you use it. Always wear the right protection. And this weapon will be your friend. Lethal Weapon 3. We're back. We're back! With Mel, Danny, and Joe. I'm Chaos. And he's Mayhem. We're a double act. You think I could get a gun this time? No! Lethal Weapon 3. Premier Saturday, May 1st, only on HBO. HBO is about to let the game begin. We know he's escaped. Harrison Ford. I'm after the man who tried to kill my family. What Ryan Dom can't be undone. Stop thinking about it. I can't. I don't care what you have to do. These men are professionals. Personal revenge rarely plays into it. But I killed his brother. Patriot Games. Coming in May. Only on HBO. HBO. It's gonna take you to the top. K2. Premier Saturday, May 22nd. Only on HBO. Skinheads USA, let us take you into their world before they enter yours. We will be at your high school, at your middle school, at your elementary school. We will approach your children with a proof that their race is their nation. America Undercover, Skinheads USA, Soldiers of the Race War, premieres Tuesday night at 10 on HBO. You know how hard it is for me to make friends. It's like everybody thinks I'm some kind of freak or something. I'll be your friend. In the suspense thriller, The Crush, a journalist named Nick rents a guest house from the parents of a 14-year-old girl who becomes dangerously infatuated with him. Carrie Elways plays the journalist, and Alicia Silverstone makes her feature film debut as Darian, the girl who can't take no for an answer. That's it. I want you to stay the away from me. Help me. I love you, Nick, and you love me. You're sick. Even though Darian's behavior becomes more threatening as the story progresses, Silverstone says her character isn't as evil as she is misguided. I didn't see any evil in Darian at all, except towards the end when she really does get bad. But I don't think, even that, I think it's all just comes from loneliness and, and unhappiness. She's just a really sad girl. Nevertheless, Elways, who first captured moviegoers' attention with 1987's The Princess Bride, says if he were in his character's shoes in real life, he'd want them to be running shoes. Obviously, if you, you know, you see the movie, you go, well, wait a minute, why don't you get, you know, people go, get out! This woman's crazy, get out of there! You know, so I had to, I had to do, I had to, you know, we, I talked to the director about it, and we thought of ways of really making this relationship between my character and the, and the photojournalist that he meets at the, uh, at the magazine he works for be uh, a reason for him staying there, you know? The photojournalist he meets, a woman named Amy, played by Jennifer Rubin, is far more aware of Darian's infatuation. She's got a crush on you. What, are you saying I did something to provoke this? Well, did you? Neither Amy nor Nick recognizes the danger lurking beneath Darian's obsessive behavior. Ruben says, in real life, she might be just as easily fooled. If a 14-year-old girl came after my boyfriend, I would probably laugh hysterically. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would laugh hysterically, and I wouldn't really think anything of it. 
The Crush is based, in part, on a real-life incident experienced by writer-director Alan Shapiro. It really happened to the, to the writer, and uh, he, re he recounted the whole experience. I made him tell me exactly what he went through and you know, how he dealt with it. And uh, he actually ended up leaving sooner than this character did. So everything past like the second act is pure supposition in, in, in the mind of the writer as to, as to what might have happened had, had he stayed, you know. What are you doing here? This is the show. Did something come up? Go on, get out of here. Oh, Elway says he's never had such a close encounter, but he and his co-stars say they will never forget their very first crush. Well, I had a crush on, on uh, the nurse at my school. Uh, she was from Norwegian, uh, Norway. No, yeah, my, I had a crush on this girl from Norway. She was a nurse at my school. I have had crushes on, like, there's two different guys I've had crushes on. One's my best friend now, so that's absolutely nothing. And the other one was just one of those silly things where you walk down the hallways and, you know, you brush your hair before you go and you, you know where he's going to pass and, you know, all the good stuff. So my first crush was uh, um, with a boy who was a swimmer. And um, like seven years later, he became my boyfriend. He used to snap me with a towel. Darian, let me explain a little something to you. One day when you're all grown up and you have a real relationship, you'll realize your feelings for Nick were just a thing, just a crush. In fact, I bet by the time school starts, you'll have completely forgotten all about him. God, Amy. When I grow up, I hope I can be just as smart as you. Darian, go play. Elway says the crush is designed to be a heart-stopping, entertaining thriller and is not meant to be a serious study of obsessive behavior. I mean, we're not curing cancer here. We're just having some fun. And if anyone ends up enjoying the picture, then that's great. Silverstone says, for her, making this movie resulted in some personal insights she will never forget. Before I did this role, I had not, I was not in touch with my sexuality at all. I know that when I'm with guys and in the everyday world, all I do is blush and get nervous and silly. And with her, complete control. There was no, no hesitation at all. Darian! What are you doing? Making lemonade. What's up? Next on HBO. We couldn't make this one up. Holly Hunter stars in the HBO original movie, The Positively True Adventures of the Alleged Texas Cheerleader Murdering Mom. Next on HBO. They're young, they're small, and they're out for blood. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, big ugly chump? Sunday nights in May, kids rule on HBO. You're asking us to destroy a child. Don't let their cute little faces fool you. These monsters mean business. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? Next Sunday at 8, kids rule in All I Want for Christmas. Now we really gotta talk. Surrender now if you know what's good for you. Kids rule every Sunday night in May at 8, only on HBO. This summer, HBO takes you down a road TV has never traveled before. Laurel Avenue, an HBO miniseries event, coming in July. They have looks. See now, honey, hurry up. The waiter's waiting to see you naked. Money. Please don't talk about liquidating me. And a vanishing statuette. Jake, what have you done with it? What, are you about? what have I done with it? I didn't do anything with it. What they don't have is a clue. Ugly looking thing, isn't it? John Malkovich and Andy McDowell in The Object of Beauty. Oh, God. Just get it back and give it back to me. You know, I love movies, but I hate going out. The long lines. Oh, the traffic. Getting babysitters. Paying late fees. Uncomfortable seats. It'd be great not to have to leave your house to see a good movie.
HBO, now they've got great movies. Yeah, it's great to watch big blockbusters in bed. In my recliner. On the couch. With the kids. Without having to go out and get it. When I kick off my shoes, they stay off. There's no place like home to see a movie. All she wanted was for her little girl to be a cheerleader. But just how far will people go for their children? You want to do the mother? You want the daughter? Or you want both of them? What would be the best? It's a bizarre tale of Texas, attempted murder, cheerleaders, and hitmen that happens to be based on a true story. <laughs> the things you do for your kids. Holly Hunter, Bo Bridges, and Swoozie Kurtz star in the HBO original movie, The Positively True Adventures of the Alleged Texas Cheerleader Murdering Mom. The HBO original movie, critically acclaimed award-winning feature films that you'll see only on HBO. Hollywood's brightest stars and television's most provocative stories. The HBO original movie. And now, the positively true adventures of the alleged Texas cheerleader murdering mom.